our confirmation <laughs> of all the vows and the promises that you've made to each other today. And traditionally, in Swansea, it shows to the ground. <laughs> 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 Oh, sorry, that's after the insurance video. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong word. <laughs> JDs and gentle, what is it? JDs and gentlemen. Right. Anyone who might have sneaked in for a female to start with? Who is it? That's a friend. Ah, I got you. As I'm the father of the bride, it's my privilege to make the first speech. Well, at least I thought it was a privilege because I realised the Etsy wore my back like a dustpanning broom. <laughs> anyway, with that in mind, I'm trying to be like Ronnie Corbett, short and sweet. It's not entertaining, just short and sweet. <laughs> On behalf of the bride's mother, myself, and the Thomases, that's not nice, is it? Well, child's did mum and dad, didn't you? I'd like firstly to thank everyone for coming today. We have guest who has travelled. How can I beat that? <laughs> First of all, can I start my speech by welcoming all of our guests? Today we are surrounded by most of our friends and family that have been important to us during our lives. It makes me the happiest man alive to be able to stand here and say to you all, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, on behalf of my wife and I, welcome to our wedding. It really wouldn't be the same without you all. Some of you have taken time off work, it's Wednesday. Some of you have travelled many miles to see you today. So again, on behalf of Leanne and myself, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now, my, now, my short speech today would be like, would be like a mini skirt. Long enough to cover the essentials, but short enough to hold your attention. For agreeing to marry me, and for making me the happiest man in the world. I think you'll all agree that she was actually gorgeous today. And when she walked up the aisle, she took my breath away. They say you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. I think that sums us up perfectly, to be honest with you. Now, if I had to sing out one thing about why I love Leanne so much, it would be the fact that she makes me the happier than I've ever dreamed I could be. And I intend to spend the rest of my life making sure that, that the reverse is also true. 
I know that Leanne has put a huge amount of effort into making today perfect, and I think that she has done that and more. I've known Leanne and being with her for just over two years, I've learned a valuable lesson. When I'm wrong, admit it. When I'm right, keep quiet. I can remember one occasion when we were teenagers, a group of us sat down to watch the adult film Showgirls. So, ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me immense pleasure to invite you all to stand and to raise your glasses. I'm going to toast the Giants of Leanne. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah.